Okay, so it's a Sunday, uh, windy Sunday in Rotterdam. We are in Hoek van Holland with uh, Professor Han Brezet, Director of the Design for Sustainability Program in the University of Technology. And Han, give us a little overview of the project you're carrying at DFS. Well, there are many things happening, and of course we try uh, to focus. But it seems that uh, particularly energy and renewable energy will be important in the next years. So we are doing some challenging projects in the province of Friesland in the north, trying to introduce uh, solar energy and all kind of markets, and also designing new products and related services. One of the ideas that today just arrived in the papers is to have a large uh, amount of uh, novel uh, solar panels on the Asselaar Dijk, yeah. and that really would be a challenging project, but also small things like uh, solar for bicycle, um, electricity support, uh, small equipment or lighting, and many other things. And then also in the area of mobility a lot is happening. So we happen to work more and more together with uh, uh, my friend and colleague Professor Ockels, who is doing a lot in mobility. We introduced him in Rotterdam with his letter mill, but also we are working together now uh, with the Formula Zero uh, project that you might have heard of. Yeah. from uh, Satish uh, Vega. What, what, what is exactly Formula Zero? That, that involves uh, uh, hydrogen? It involves hydrogen, but also, of course, uh, all kind of new electricity management of, of electrical engines uh, and things like the combination with supercapacitors and, uh, and other things. Uh, and, and, of course, the new uh, materials that should be light and very uh, firm. So that area is important, but also the area of small uh, transport devices that you can take with you, that are foldable, that are comfortable. And also these we are going to test in Friesland, but hopefully also in Rotterdam. So we have two, so to speak, testing areas, that's Friesland and, and Rotterdam. And then another area coming up now is that of renewable materials. So we work together with people and PhDs that are specialists in uh, renewable uh, materials like uh, bamboo and cork and also that we try to combine with the mobility and energy project. Okay, and what about these projects uh, you are involved in uh, developing economies, this bottom of the pyramid? Uh, we know that you are very active uh, with Philips for instance, you've been also working with Microsoft and how you see this emerging area, bottom of the pyramid? Well, uh, I see it as a, as a very challenging market where we have to design together with designers from these countries and, and, and producers, all kinds of solutions, not having all the facilities that we would have here from a high-tech uh, background, but that makes us creating solutions that we never would uh, probably uh, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good, it's good, it's good. It's no, good. That, that, that these solutions we probably never would create here yeah. in, in, in the West. And so far, I think some 30 of our students from TUDL have been working in all kinds of emerging economies. And there's so much attention now for the program that I got the, the visit last week from a, an equity fund that is raising a few billion uh, euros to start to support these things. And in fact, they say you would like to support these things outside the large companies and not with the large companies involved. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much, Han, for your comments. Thanks for introducing DFS to us, and uh, see you around. I'll see you around. Right.